I can say my homegirl is kind of looking like that picture now. Baby, put you Everybody, welcome back to my channel it's your girl the notorious and to the i to the a and happy 2023 i wanted to bring in the new year giving you guys an updated diy sugar wax routine since the last time we spoke on this topic i have added some more products that have really helped me elevate my wax routine and i wanted to share that with you guys because you guys have been so supportive of my last video and i didn't really talk about aftercare in that video so I want to make sure that I cover it and let you guys know what I use after I did all of that so if you guys haven't seen that video definitely go check it out I will be linking it up above as well as in the cards I do also want to thank you guys for all the love and support that you have shown on that video it is my second most viewed video on my channel so thank you guys so much for supporting and showing love but I did want to come and give you guys an update Happy to report that I have seen some improvement in the discoloration in that area and just overall how my skin feels and look since I started sugar waxing so I know I started off that video with a whole dialogue about loving your body and really making improvements to things that you want to make improvements to and this honestly has helped me do that I could say my homegirl is kind of looking like that picture now <laughs> I am also happy to report that I have not been back to any waxing center at all. Anytime that I have waxed, I have done it myself at home and it definitely has saved me a whole lot of money, which was also a major point that I made in my last video. So let's get into the changes that I made. So as far as the actual process is concerned, I no longer cook my sugar wax in the microwave. I actually do now make it on the stove top and I just found that it gives me better results when I do it that way and also I get a larger quantity that I can save for later so I don't have to make new wax every time. So the measurements that I use for my stovetop wax is two cups of white sugar, one fourth cup of lemon juice, and then one fourth cup of water. I go ahead and stir that up and then I leave my heat on medium heat. It is going to start to bubble up and you will be looking for a golden brown coloring and that's how you know when it is cooked but you just want to keep on stirring it and checking it. You may also have to take it off the heat to be able to see if it is ready or not so this is a very hands-on process do not try to go do anything else while you are cooking your wax because it easily can be overcooked and burnt and you don't want that trust me the results from that are not great so the way i wax first i make sure i am working on a clean body you always want to make sure you're working on a clean body because you don't want any bacteria or anything to get in there while you're working on your wax and next I powder myself down with a talc free powder I still use the same talc free powder from Burt's Bees it's the same container it has lasted me all this time so that is what I am still using and then I will go ahead and still apply my wax with the popsicle sticks I don't really use the muslin too much I kind of just apply the wax let it sit for a few seconds and then rip it off with the popsicle stick so that is something that changed because the piece of the fabric just was beginning to be too much and I realized that the wax actually can hold its own and it can lift on its own once you give it a second so I started doing it that way and then I just proceed to move inward from my thighs inward and I do my lips last because for me that is the part that hurts the most okay and I just go section by section piece by piece and then after I'm all done anything that I have left over that won't be able to be picked up by the wax I just go in with some tweezers and just take them bad boys out now what has seen a lot of improvement since my first video is my aftercare now, before when I was done I would go ahead and use my witch hazel but now I use these Nike 
mask so they're basically like a sheet mask for your homegirl and this is just the perfect addition to the routine because it's like washing your face and putting on a face mask is the same thing so this is perfect for post wax or post shave the soother is a sheet mask for your vulva infused with plant-based non-toxic ingredients formulated with your homegirl in mind it has balancing aloe rejuvenating witch hazel soothing chamomile moisturizing coconut oil conditioning olive oil harmonizing rose oil and relieving rosemary oil it helps to combat irritation and ingrown so all you do is place the mask on your homegirl relax leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and then you peel it off this mask is just one of the ones that they have i felt it would be the best for me like i said the soother is perfect for post wax or post shave it helps combat redness irritation and ingrowns leaving you feeling rejuvenated hydrated and celebrated the rehabber is perfect for post play or postpartum so it helps ease discomfort and reduce inflammation so keep that in mind and then also they have the juicer it's perfect for pre-play or post shower it helps alleviate dryness and condition hair and will leave you feeling supple silky and satisfied i definitely will be getting some more of these i found these on flip and honestly i am so excited to kind of just try them all they really love these because no matter what you're doing to your home girl help you make it more of a relaxing luxury experience something for everybody so i will definitely make sure i link these down below so you guys can shop because i don't know where else they sell these besides on flip but i did get them on flip and then i will go in with a moisturizer we put some cocoa butter or bio oil on top just to seal that moisture in but there is also another moisturizer that i did want to try out the welda skin food ultra rich cream that is something that i also wanted to add and then for the next few days i will go in with the topicals high roller ingrown hair tonic i have previously been using this vanish pfb chroma bright and it's skin brightening and grown hair relief day or two after my wax because they do not recommend that you use this product right after you wax which is why I use this mask I got this from Walmart I have seen plenty of good reviews on it this is empty <laughs> and you know it definitely did help I definitely did see a difference when I consistently use this product but I did want to try something new when it came to replacing it so that is how we ended up with the topicals high roller ingrown hair tonic and this is also a black owned brand so you know we are here for that and it does the same thing so this is another product that I use in my post wax routine just make sure that I am rolling this on to prevent any ingrowns and also by preventing ingrowns you prevent discoloration and that was my whole point in doing this I could not stand it she is not having any issues with the hair growing back in or anything like that they do sell this in Sephora as well as the topicals website so you also can pick that up there that is everything for this video I hope you guys enjoyed please let me know how it's been working out for you guys with the DIY waxing at home I'm sure we all can say that we saved a lot of money it's been three years since I made that video and I have not been back to the waxing center so i hope these new products can definitely help you guys elevate your waxing routine and i will see you guys in my next one bye